Welcome to Mars. Special thanks to NASA and Jet Propulsion Laboratory for providing us with images. They've been providing daily images for uh, over 10 years. Every day, new images of Mars. Today, we're going to look at a, a, a statue that's small. I'm not sure it's actually a statue. It's been posted on Facebook. It's from Soul901. It's been posted on Twitter. It's been in many uh, blogs and uh, news magazines. I'm not sure it's an anomaly. First off, when you look at an image of Mars, you want to determine what are you looking at. This is a dry riverbed, evidenced by the, the wavy lines that are on the stones. And at the bottom left is a, a sandy area with many rounded stones. That's all evidence of flowing water. So this object at one time was underwater. We have a second image of this anomaly. Uh, it was, uh, these images were taken as part of a mosaic with the 34 millimeter camera, which is the lesser camera on the rover. There's also a 100 millimeter camera, which is usually exclusively the images I look at. These 34 millimeter images are out of focus and Unless the object is right next to the rover, which this is, it, you can't make out what you, you can't trust what you're looking at. Also along the right side of the image, you can see more of the small rounded stones that are caught in the, the sand or the dirt. And this is all looks like uh, cracked mud. You know, what happens to mud when it dries? It cracks. It certainly looks like that. The water in ancient times would have been flowing from the left of the image to the right. This image is from the mosaic that NASA made. And in it, you can see the rover and the rover tracks. So we can go ahead and scale this. The rover is the, the tracks are 16.4 inches, I believe, but it's 20 centimeters. They're 20 centimeters wide. And so that, you know, you could say that the statue is, you know, a couple inches. It's not that big. You can also see many more rounded stones and cracked mud or clay, whatever that is. So let's take a closer look. You can see uh, this image is taken from the mosaic. And in the dead center is the anomaly. Let's move in closer. Here you can see the ripples on the stone or the mud uh, quite clearly. And there's the anomaly. Let's get as close as we dare with this camera. And there's nothing connecting the base to what is the the face or the head of the statue. So I'm really unsure about this object. Uh, post in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching.